Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone. The reason I brought uh, this uh, hands-on experience that I noticed many study report right ventricular hypertrophy that when I went uh, detail and check those measurement, I saw they are wrong and many even unfortunately some, not all, some cardiologists without uh, putting too much attention because they assuming that tech they did correct way and they report uh, right ventricular hypertrophy too. So uh, that is for this reason I am going to little go to detail how we measure right ventricular free wall. First of all, this case we have uh, the indication for this patient was uh, pulmonary hypertension and the patient, they, the doctor want to see if the patient has any sign and a consequence of pulmonary hypertension or not. And for that reason, the tech went and measured uh, right ventricular free wall. And as you can see here, this is your 2D zoom on the right ventricular free wall. And you know, this is subcostal view and check measure this one as you can see the number first of all is this uh, correct um, view and measurement or not we have to give uh, exactly reasoning is that right or not and what is the correct measurement on this case if you want to measure on this case here is another case as you can see on this patient uh, again uh, the tech want to measure uh, right ventricular free wall based on that uh, 2d image on subcostal and ekg you can see which of these uh, images is correct for measurement and which spot is correct and which measurement is correct this one and which spot this one or which spot or this one so you have to pick up which uh, of those three is correct, uh, has correct moment and measurement and find the correct measurement. Okay, now let's go for explanation. For uh, correct measurement of right ventricular free wall, we have to follow four rules. First, we have to pick up the correct view. Uh, and why and how, why a correct view is important. I'm going to shortly explain. Second, what time of the cardiac cycle we have to measure. Third, which spot of the wall from the annulus to the apex, which part we have to pick it up. And the last one and the most important, where is uh, our myocardium? What our landmark are for the myocardium? Because you know we have epicardio fat pad all those cordatin dini and trabeculation where is how you can determine which spot and which uh, area is the myocardium now go let's go one by one 